morning. Very, very, very good morning. Welcome back to Be Blessed Blogs. My name is Armani Cardoza. It is exactly three o'clock in the afternoon in Jamaica. I am sorry. Um, sorry, I haven't been on for quite a few days. It's been a really, really, really busy week. Um, I actually should have blogged yesterday. It was my birthday yesterday, so it was super busy. And you know, this is actually what I have been doing. This is one. just part of what what um i did including um dropping coco off to my friend and uh, um yeah it's just been it's been super duper busy so you know let's pray and i'll try and get the roundup before i go out because i have some work to try and get done and i need to get back here as soon as possible this place needs to be clean because a lot of people are here and um then I need to get to do some some more work since I've shown you guys the the Adata. Well oh, sorry. The Adata. I got it. So I haven't been able to I haven't had the time exactly to really to set it to set it up properly and and bring over all the other documents and so on that's making the computer slow so I'll be doing that today so I really wanna wanna go see about um see about Salem I have to go to Salem Salem is like just before you enter Runaway Bay if you guys look it up and if you guys live here in Jamaica but you don't live in St. Anne and if you come to visit you know you'll if you know a place called Richmond Estate, where I currently live. Um, once you pass there, you're going to be on your way to Salem, then Runaway Bay, then eBay, and um, all, all the other places. And yeah. Um, so right, let's pray. Let's pray. And then we can get started. We can get started a bit. I, of course, um, Gonna, gonna bring you guys with me. I'm gonna have to bring you guys with me uh, for a little drive. Let me guys it. Make you guys. Sorry about that. But I'll make you guys see the see the the scenery and so on a little bit. It's kind. It's raining. It's a rainy time at the moment, so there might be some rain on the way Christ winning but hopefully you know not just as yet but you know it's all Christ winning um oh yeah let's pray let's pray do and I'm King of Peace Jesus Christ only to see that do it and I please please protect this video from all evil and keep me what to say Jesus please deliver us from the devil and the demons keep the keep the devil and demons and such in the pit when I'm King of Peace Jesus Christ I ask you keep them in the pit I ask you when I'm King of Peace Christ, holy interceder, and destroy them in your wrath, I'm King, King of Peace, Jesus Christ, destroy them in your wrath, and night. I invite you, Holy Spirit, you when I'm in this place. And just thank you so much, Jesus Christ, keeping all those evils in the peace with them, destroying them in your wrath, holy, I'm King of Peace, Jesus Christ, destroying them in your wrath, and night. I say this over and over again, Heavenly Father, because I just beg you that you may do so. Heavenly Father, may you will win, and please, Heavenly Father, I don't know if you Grant me your mercy and forgive me of my sin. I don't mean just to help you. Oh, Jesus. So faithful and merciful. May you bless the viewers on this 
that is that on in this video that's watching I've got family members and friends who who tune in may you bless them Jesus and may you will order the night be done show us your ways of in the may you will be father please be done show us your goodness in Jesus Christ holy hope for you we pray Amen. okay so so let me try and remember you know keep remembrance if you heard that the thunder okay so the rundown um ever since the bank ever since i got back from the bank the fourth time i haven't been back since i ended up going and i got the tires changed and um got cocoa everything the she's been here coco has been here well, well done but she has I took her to the vet and she got it she got her extra shots and she has one more shot to take next month uh, I was a bit iffy about giving her the shots because I know that vaccines are the reason you do get sick they try to say that it's just to get the sickness out so by putting the sickness inside of you it gets the sickness out it doesn't make sense so that's why I really it was iffy about it, but gosh, but, uh, she got her, her um, what's it called, vaccine, and she has ticks all over her body, and so I've been, mean, you know, she has some medication to take, these tablets, and sham special shampoo for fungal inspections, because I believe she has fungus also. Oh, it's not nice, man, and she's albino, so she's just super duper fragile and she cried cries for oh man cries for a bit i'm not sure if she has sciences also oh she's so very fragile so very strong and fast so so fragile and smart um but i had just brought her up to my friend my like a sister her and her husband um and, and children they they're up in d bay right now which is Quite away from me, like 30 so minutes, 30 35 minutes away from me, up on a hill. So let's call it 45 minutes exactly. Um, but she's having so much fun, she's having a lot of fun up there. There's another, they have another dog, and they went out to the ocean today. They swam, the salt water really helped Coco and her ticks, some of those fleas off her, all that stuff. Um, they bit her up before they died in the ocean, probably died, I don't know, but they. Um, Coco was itching a lot, uh, so she rolled in the grass a lot. I was told. Uh, and, and where I am right now in Richmond, they're saying that they have this no pet thing. So a lot of people who do have dogs here, which quite a few people do, are gonna have to move their dogs unless they're some tiny house dogs. Those are the only ones who are allowed. No, you know no other big dogs that go, you know? No 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 dogs like that. That make people go, wow. No, that, no that, that's not why we have them. We just love them. Uh, but she's out, she's okay. She's having fun. I'm gonna have one more medication to pick up on Sabbath on this Saturday. And yeah, so I brought her up yesterday and then I came back and me, my pops and ma, we had a big reasoning, spiritual reasoning about Christ and so on. Just pray that my pops comes to Christ, you know? You know, never people wants to, wants to teach, but they don't have the right spirit in them to teach, you know? And they so badly, they so badly want to teach. They so badly want to help. But if you don't have the right spirit inside of you, it's going to be of no use, there's going to be no true effect, you know, there's going to be no real true recording that to say, you know, Christ used you for this, or, you know, because he won't share his glory with anyone else, so if his prayer is not in you, and you're trying to go out to help people and do this and that, and his prayer is not in you, it's going to be in vain, really, because he will not share his glory with us, 
we are not made to get glory. We're made to give glory to Christ and through him, his power, his understanding, his calling, you know, I mean, him calling us to do as he wills, then we can bring him glory. And then it's effective because it's him doing it. And he's the only one who can. Through us, he loves, he, he'd want to do it through us. So, you know, I just pray that Christ calls him and he answers, you know, he humbles himself. Completely humbles himself. My mother and family, you know, it's all so blessed. I just, just want them all to come to Christ, like fully, full fold. You know, me myself stay in Christ because it's only by His grace that I'm here. I'm still going with Him by His grace. All the hopes still with Christ. Christ is still in me by His grace, living, breathing in me. And if He's not in you, no life in me, you know, but he wants to live in you, so the more, more to say, Jesus, he wants to live in you, Christ died on the cross for you and me, and rose three days after, to save us from our sins and iniquities, to give us a chance to come and live with him in peace and salvation and happiness, as kings of the earth in, in a world where there is no crying and weeping, it's only been a short time, this earth has only been around for a few a few thousand years, six thousand years to be exact, and that's soon over. And then we're gonna go into Sabbath day. Um, oh gosh, so much to explain. But Christ is coming, and He just wants to live in you. You know, just come as you are. He doesn't care what you've done. I mean, He does, He does care what, he, what you've done, but you know what I mean. You, He doesn't, He doesn't want you to try and change yourself before coming to him you know he wants to change you he wants to live in you he wants to show you his his, his love his love everything you know we don't deserve it I don't deserve it I deserve what you I deserve terrible I deserve how much lives in you know so I just beg you guys you know when he calls you answer and if you're a Christian when he tells you to do something do it me myself I'm dealing with it I'm me myself I've I'm going through that where God has told me to do something and I didn't do it no most of the times it brings a hole in me and there's times when he told me to do something and I do it and it, is, it just brings me the most joy and gladness. I am so fulfilled and happy. I'm so fulfilled and happy. So, how oh, that pops just texting or whatever. So, yeah, but yesterday, you know, yesterday was a lot of fun. I set out just having a lot of fun. And we also went to the beach the day before. Yesterday, I almost forgot. Um, and the beach was so much fun. The, being able to can stay in the ocean, I mean, swim in the ocean, knowing that there'll be no more ocean in a few, in a few hours, in God's time, is amazing. It's a lot of fun. Trust me, it's a lot of fun. It's a whole new world in the ocean. It's different, and I really do just enjoy it. I it. I enjoyed it. We played football. I had some laughs. You know, I bust my tooth. I chip my tooth right here. You know, because we're, you know, whenever men play rough and we just, we're, we had the basketball because we never have the ball. So we're kind of playing like, we're like playing rugby. And along the way, my brother's elbow, not my blood, but spiritual brother. He just kind of elbowed me in my lip and there's blood in all those things on my lip and my tooth is chips and stuff like that. But no one knows that, but you guys do. And if they watch this, which they watch, you know, which I'm sure you guys do, I know, they, you guys know it now that that has happened. Um, I'm 
Kapan sih? Just turned 20. I wasn't gonna actually gonna tell you guys my age. I don't necessarily like to tell people my age, and I feel I might cut this out. Yeah. Scratch. No, no, never mind, never mind. Okay, I was gonna scratch it, I was gonna scratch this, I was thinking of just scratching this, but I'm not gonna bother to scratch it. Hmm. Um, you know, I'll just, it's too terrible. Anyways, so, sorry guys, I'm just really wondering if I should keep this in there now that, that I've said it. Or just scratch the whole thing, and you just. But this is a this is Christ's grace, this testimony. Christ has given me twenty years on this earth. You know, Christ has given me twenty years on this earth, and I'm grateful by His grace that He's allowed me to be here to kind of witness the amazing things that He has done in my life. He's blessed us with this house in perfect timing. You know. He's given us, he's blessed us with. There's some times where honestly we were we didn't have a house like this, you know? Because in England we were pretty much to say homeless, not necessarily, but not our own house. We were staying in like government government hotels and you know not hotels, but they're more like government shelters or government motels or whatever you want to call it you know places where the government would send us to stay and you know God has blessed us with a house three times you know and he saved me from my addictions three times I used to be addicted to I used to be addicted to pornography and just so I was so messed up man but Christ called me out of it by his grace and now that to die in his name, Jesus Christ's name, and gave me life, gave me himself, covered me with it, covered me with the Holy Spirit, made me new, completely new by his grace, completely new in Jesus Christ's name, completely new in Jesus Christ's name. I am just so grateful, truly, uh, my life, my life, I was reborn about three years now. 2019. Sorry about that. About three years. Three years now. Three year. Yeah, three and a half years. Let's say that near. Maybe three and a half years. Or three years exactly. Around in, I believe it was January, I think. It was sometime. Yeah, I think about January. Around January, I did. Because it was. I remember that month. The month before I got really sick in December times and then the next month I believe I got baptized around January February um, but then my previous girlfriend had gotten baptized a month after so I'll explain to you after this is this is in the testimony video on which I was making this swim yes so definitely definitely my Christ grace definitely um Oh yeah, hold up. Ah, oh, should have had this on. Had it on charge for a long time. Um, yeah. Well, that's that's a really I've had I've had life for about three years. Christ Christ is life. Mm. Aside from my, I just I just feel like a little bit. So as if I want some coffee or something, maybe. Because I don't drink glucose, I can't drink power or energy drinks like that. Red Bull, because they build up my anxiety and it's not nice. But you know, I just spent such a long, it was a long day, it still is. But the day's soon over, it's soon over. I got up quite late today, around 10 o'clock, and spent time with Abba for a while. Got out the room around one o'clock in the afternoon. 
and then that would close that yeah yeah now I want to kind of go out but it's just started to rain now just start to gonna be getting some work done okay. get the work done and then head on out or head on out first and get the work done I'm gonna be seeing if I still in if I can get this get the van remodeled for the for the um, water delivery gonna give me a price price my Christ Grace gave me this idea of a different way and I think I believe I explained it before but if not let me just say um a because initially we were as we were planning on just having like steel shelves in the in the bus but because we are like depending on the like like imagine imagine grocery store shelves but ones that really big five gallon bottles can fit on so there's a big bigger shell of course but you, you get it imagine those in a caravan on the sides like on both sides and you can just put the waters on those shelves you know like that but instead that won't hold enough like say imagine the amount of bottles we are, we're gonna have in the van it won't it's not gonna hold enough so Christ would give me this idea where instead of that you just like, put like a table, like a, a really big piece of, a really big piece of wood or a shelf and install it into the van, so the van will have two floors, so the bottles can go under and the bottles can go on top, so that would, that would put, that would, like, hold over a hundred bottles, okay, let's say that, okay, I think I'm over exaggerating on 100. I think it might hold up to 50 or so. 50 or so bottles. 50, 70 bottles. Around that. Or more. Price winning my price race. So that will be really blessed. Yeah. Uh, right. So I'm gonna go check the carpenter for that. On price race. Does. And then we can get started. And everything else. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, hi. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do it. Guys, we're so close. We're so very, very close. close. Alright, so let me pray out and I will. We're gonna flash forward the other half in a bit. So please not to enter this country. I don't know. I'm going to do this piece and ask for some vacation. I don't know. I'm going to follow them. It's so very great for Jesus Christ. It's a little protecting this protecting this video from all evil. And Jesus, I beg you that you may guide us to the world and fill um fill myself when I'm in your peace. Like fill myself when I'm in your peace for that night. And yet with the holy, holy energy and ambition. And Jesus, please rebuke the evil one, the rebuke of evil. Rebuke the devil and the rebuke of evil. And Jesus, please rebuke all these such. And please, my anxiety, read them all out of the way of myself, family, and the of Jesus Christ, my spiritual family, in you, who I am, that I'm watching. And place all those evils when I'm in peace in the sick and destroy them in the way. I place the devil and demons and evil spirit and such confusions and anxieties place all these views on them in the pit task of the and in this video please and this them in your lap and in this video please this video in your lap and we invite you as to be in this place and in peace to our mind and philosophy video um 
for your compassion, ambition, and your energy and wisdom in this person, Jesus Christ. And fill it with love and with an abundance, um, an unending abundance of your work, of your heart, of your mind, and your peace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Very, very. You feel something, and I'm going to listen to this word to say. The big part was the pit, and I'm going to use the rest of the year in the middle. I'm going to use the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. And Jesus Christ and make friends. Jesus Christ and make friends. Amen. 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 Alright. I'll see you guys in a bit. Just... Like... I'll see you guys in the next... Five seconds. In a bit. Super sorry guys, I didn't get to... Um, get into the into the second half of the video. But if you just hop on over to the next documentary, then you can see where we go from there. All right, have a blessed day. Rest, bless you. <laughs>